Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kits Bluna KF94. These are the Korean standard KF94. These do say that they are made in Korea. As we always mention, you should always verify if the reseller is authorized. So let's go ahead and look at the listing before we try these on. Here is the Amazon listing where we purchase these KF94. They currently cost $30 with 68 cents. They also have a 4.4 out of 5 rating and 925 reviews. And they also state on their listing that they are KFDA approved and FDA registered. Let's go ahead and open this up and see how they look. So here is how they look. It has a blank canvas. It doesn't state that they are Bluna. And this is how it looks from the back. As I mentioned, these are adjustable ear loops. So we saw this with the uh, adult size Bluna. The straps are welded and it's very easy for you to rip this apart. So you just have to be really careful when adjusting this. We also had the same issue with the Bluna adult size. I'm gonna go ahead and open another one so that we can try it on. So let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay. So the first thing that I noticed while I'm putting it on, this one does actually have a smell. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe this smell. It's kind of like a blend between plastic and metal. It is quite a strong smell. It does have a pretty good nose wire. I don't feel a lot of collapse and it does feel like a very breathable mask. So like I said, you can adjust the respirator on this side, but I'm not going to because these are small already. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test with our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the band from the respirator or mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.96% with a pressure drop of 10.8. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.68 and a pressure drop of 10.5. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.32 and had a pressure drop of 11.8. Overall, these KF94 had really good numbers for both breathability and filtration. The construction quality of these is quite nice. Just the one thing that I did want to point out again was the welding of the headbands. You have to make sure you're really careful whenever you're adjusting it. And the fit, obviously on my face, it didn't fit quite properly because they are a kid size. But as I mentioned, whenever I had it on, it did have quite a strong smell. It, I couldn't really describe it. It's kind of like a metal and plastic just put together and it wasn't a pleasant smell so I did want to point that out again. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next and just any other content that you would like to see on our YouTube channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website which is acumed.com and our testing master data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.